Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay, and today we're going to cover how to change the URL of your YouTube channel. So you know when you start Facebook, Instagram, and all that, and you like to put slash and put your name or your business name, it is possible to do that with your YouTube channel. The only problem or difference is you have to meet certain requirements. So today what we're going to do is go through the requirements. We're going to go through the steps. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you a list of the steps so that you can go back and do it yourself without going back through the video. And then we're going to come up with a solution for one problem. What if you've had your channel for a while? And you've put all over the place here, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Here's the link and you're changing the link. I'm going to show you how you can mass upload a change in your description, at least temporarily until you get in there and can delete the other link. Okay. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is log into your YouTube account. So you're going to log in and then you want to go under your profile picture or logo, whatever you have uploaded. Okay. So you're going to click that and then you're going to click settings. So I'm going kind of fast because like I said, I'll give you a list of these steps. So don't sit there and worry about writing them down or any of that. All right. All right. So now we're going to go to settings down here. See it after settings, we're going to select advanced settings. So let's wait for that to come up now, right here where it says you, your YouTube channel, there's my name. Um, I can, you know, my, where my picture or my logo for my business. And then right here, it says view advanced settings now if you have met those requirements it's going to give you the option to change um, i'm going to pull this down just a little bit here it says you're eligible for a custom url claim it here now what's going to happen is they're going to give me a choice of different um new names that I can put on there so most people want to change it to their own name so those are going to be the recommended names now if your name is john smith and you go to change your youtube channel url to john smith chances are somebody's already taken that name so you might have to revise it a little bit so let's go ahead and click this if you're not eligible it won't say that you have to meet those requirements and the requirements of becoming eligible are one you have to have 100 subscribers two you have to have an account that is 30 days old or more three you have to have your picture loaded where you just saw me hit my little logo you have to put a photo of yourself or a little logo you have to upload a picture to your channel and then you also have to upload the channel art so when you go to your channel page you know at the top there's a banner there you have to have something uploaded in there as well so there's four things you need to do upload the two pictures 100 subscribers 30 days old and as soon as that happens this will automatically say you're eligible I'm eligible and so now I'm going to click it now I've had my channel for a year so I have that old link out there in lots of places so I'm gonna to have to go out my thinking is it's better to go out and change it now than three or four years from now when I'm really big right so I'm still a small channel where that's not the end of the world now here it says get a custom URL it's giving me two choices I can choose Vanessa D Berlay I can also choose Vanessa D. Berlay and add something to it, a suffix if I want. I'm just going to go ahead and choose my name. And I like the way it's typed and that's how it's going to look. So I'm going to change um, my, my URL. But first, I have to look at the terms of use. Now, I'm not going to open that here. I did open it and I did read it. And in there, it says that YouTube has the right to charge for this modified URL in the future if they so choose. So they're just kind of covering themselves. If it comes to that, they will give you the opportunity to change back to something else. It also says that once you change it, you can't go in and change it again. So it's you can't keep going in and changing your URL over and over. They're just assuming people are going to come in and want to put it in their name because that's what business people do. So make sure you read the terms of use and make sure you agree to them. Don't just go by what I'm saying, but those are a couple of things that are in there. I'm okay with that. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and I'm going to change my URL. And there you go. Now my URL will now have my last name on it. And it's, um, I'm going to go ahead and write that down. So I know what it is. And then I'm going to show you how we can change that in my descriptions in all 300 and some odd videos that I have. I think I'm 370, something like that. I want to change, um, put my new 
a link that people can go to to subscribe to my channel it's not the same as the one that's been in there so i'll show you how to do that we're going to go into a program called tubebuddy to do it now what i've done is i've gone back to my channel page and if you see this little icon up there here see where it says tb that's tubebuddy that's a program that i use that helps me to uh, monitor my analytics helps me grow my channel it just has more features than youtube itself youtube actually approves of it and it's kind of integrated together so it's actually a very good program to have um, i do have videos on it i'm actually a whole playlist on how to grow your channel using tubebuddy so i will add that to the end of the video but for right now i want you to see where if i click this there are some different features that i have um, look along here there's a co ppa center keyword explorer that I can use for free, a thumbnail generator that I could use for free, a health report, which is kind of an analytics, video A-B testing, where if I want to put the same video out with two different thumbnails, I can do that using that feature. And then there's this, this is the one that we're watching, bulk processing. I can go in there and put something on all of my videos or I can select them. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in and on the description of all my videos i'm going to put my new url to my youtube channel so that when people click it and want to subscribe i will have that information there so the first thing that we're going to do is go here go to my videos page now now if you look right here at the top of the screen it says bulk meta actions i'm going to bulk change my titles and my descriptions okay it says here find and replace text so what i'm going to do is put my old url in there and replace it with the new url now i'm going to be honest with you i didn't know this is what it was going to do i thought that i was going to be able to just put the description in um, the new link in all the descriptions this is even better so you can find something and replace it with and i love this so i'm going to go ahead and type all that in and pause the video which won't affect you but i'm going to pause it while i put all this information now I went ahead and typed everything in, I copied and pasted it. And it says here, because um, it, it went, went ahead and, and automatically hit the checkbox that says include partial word matches. So it's gonna, um, even if something is very close to this or part of that is there, it's going to change it. Now then what you need to do is scroll to the bottom. Right here, it says continue and select continue. So what it's gonna do is go in and change all those things for me now you have an option maybe you only want to change something in a certain playlist maybe there for instance i have an email marketing playlist that i have and i talk about hootsuite a lot so let's say that i don't want to include the, the link for hootsuite anymore maybe i am changing it to something else i can go in and say change this link through all these videos so you can specify you can say i only want a certain videos with certain ids i only want certain playlists or i only want some uh, search videos that match certain phrases that i have now as i'm doing this it would be a good idea as you make your videos especially if you're new to keep a spreadsheet of your videos and maybe even keep a column of the the links of things that you're offering it's just something to think about the more organized you are the easier it is for you to go back and update things because you're always going to be doing this you're always tweaking and getting better and things like that so this is a perfect example so this says i want to search a full list of all my videos okay and then it says only load my most recent 50 which i don't know what that's going to do because i really i'm going to say that's not going to let me do any more than that now, I'm not gonna stay here and keep doing this, but um, what it's gonna do is gonna bring up my last 50 videos, and then I can say continue and change all of that. Um, going on, I am gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna get those other 300 videos, uh, but I want you to be aware that that tool's there and get it to work for you. But you can change your URL to have your name, but like I said, you're gonna wanna go back and fix the URL in your videos, your website, wherever your old YouTube URL is. All right, I am going to end the video with a checklist and then we're good to go. Thank you for watching. Take a snapshot of that checklist so that you can use it. 
and don't forget to subscribe and check out the playlist that I have listed here at the end. I'd be, I put videos on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and anything I'm showing you is going to help you create an affiliate marketing business, not just affiliate marketing to make some side pocket change, but a business. You can make enough money, a sustainable income, to be able to quit your job, all right? You don't have to sit there and just think of just side money and what do they call it, side hustle and all that stuff. You can create a sustainable business, but you've got to do the work. And that's what my videos are about. All right, thank you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.